Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about tetrad analysis. Some of the lower eukaryotes example unicellular algae and fungi are used in the mapping studies or genetic mapping. These spend most of the part of the life cycle in haploid state. Among them the most useful in genetic mapping is sac fungi or ascomycetes. This is because it has unique style of sexual reproduction. Fungi may be multicellular or unicellular and their cells are haploid. That means they have only one set of chromosome and these reproduces asexually. But these may reproduce sexually. Example sac fungi or ascomycetes. In the sac fungi or ascomycetes, two haploid cells fuses and produces diploid gigote. Then chromosomal replication takes place which is followed by gigotic meiosis, both meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. And four haploid cells are produced known as the spores or these are also known as tetrad. Then these four haploid cells undergoes mitosis and produces eight haploid cells known as octad. Both the tetrad and octad are contained within a sac-like structure known as ascus. So now let us discuss what is tetrad analysis. In the tetrad analysis, each product of the meiosis can be cultured separately. And then these are used to study their phenotypes. And on the basis of the phenotypes, their genotypes are inferred or deduced or the conclusion of the genotype is made. So we saw that after the fusion, diploid gigots are produced and then it is followed by gigotic meiosis, both meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 and in some cases mitosis also takes place as a result of which spores are produced and these spores are contained in sac like structure known as ascus. So now we will discuss how these spores are arranged. Their arrangement varies from species to species. Here we will discuss about two types of the arrangement. One is the ordered or linear arrangement of tetrad or octad and other is the unordered tetrad or octad. In ordered or linear tetrad and octad, tight ascus is present that is the sac like structure is narrow. Hence it prevents spores from randomly moving. So Tetrad or octad are linearly arranged. Example, Neurospora crassa. In ordered tetrad or octad, ascus is not tight. It provides enough space. As a result of which tetrads and octads of spores move randomly. And hence, these are not linearly or orderly arranged but these are unordered. Example, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. In this video, we will focus on order tetrad analysis. Let us discuss about the ordered or linear arrangement of spores in Neurospora crassa. Two haploid cells, one N, that means these have only one set of the chromosome. For convenience, we have taken only one chromosome fuses, diploid gigote is produced, then chromosomal replication takes place. Now each chromosome has two chromatids that are attached to the centromere. Meiosis 1 takes place, the two chromosomes separate. This is followed by meiosis 2. Each sister chromatids of the chromosome separates and we get four haploid cells 
known as the spores that are contained in a sac like structure it is also known as tetrad it is then followed by mitosis and we get eight haploid cells which are present in the sac like structure or ascus it is also known as octad order tetrad analysis it is used to map the distance or determine the distance between a gene and the centromere this is the gene and this is the centromere then the distance between the gene and the centromere is determined or it is used to determine the recombination frequency between a gene and its centromere you can understand recombination frequency in my video on genetic mapping the link is given in the description box two cases are possible that depends upon presence or absence of the crossing over between the gene and its centromere let us see first case where the crossing over is absent so we have seen that haploid cells fuses and diploid zygote is produced then the chromosomal replication takes place so these are the two homologous chromosome one has capital a l l and the other has small a l l then zygotic meiosis takes place meiosis 1 followed by meiosis 2 after the meiosis 1 separation of the capital a and small a l l takes place this is then followed by meiosis 2 sister chromatids of the chromosome separates and we get four haploid cells that are linearly arranged also known as tetrad this is then followed by mitosis and we get eight haploid cells that are linearly arranged this is also known as octad here the four haploid cells containing capital a l l are adjacent to the four haploid cells containing small a l l so the ratio of the haploid cell containing the capital a l l and small a l l is 4 is to 4 it is also known as first division segregation or fds because the separation or the segregation of the alleles capital a and small a takes place in the first meiotic division now the second case crossing over is present so there are two possibility depending upon the two chromatids between which crossing over takes place here the crossing over taking place between these two chromatids this part is exchanged with this part after meiosis 2 these segregate and we get four haploid cell containing capital a small a capital n small a alleles respectively after mitosis eight haploid cells are produced that are arranged linearly which is also known as octad these are present as two haploid cells containing capital a allele two haploid cells containing the small a allele which is crossover type and then again two haploid cells which has the capital a capital a allele these are also crossover type then again two haploid cells containing small a and small a allele which are non crossover type so the ratio is 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 so there is deviation from the 4 is to 4 ratio as seen in the first division segregation now the second possibility crossing over is taking place between the this chromatid and this chromatid so exchange of parts takes place between these two chromatids and after meiosis 2 they segregate and we get capital a which is non crossover type small a which is crossover type small a non crossover type and again and again capital a which is crossover type after mitosis eight haploid cells are obtained which are known as octad and these are linearly arranged and the ratio is two haploid cells containing capital a alleles four haploid cells containing small a allele and again two haploid cells containing capital a allele so the ratio is 2 is to 4 is to 2 this is also 
deviation from 4 is to 4 ratio that is seen in the first division segregation. In the first case, we have seen the segregation of the capital A and small a LL takes place in first meiotic division. But here the segregation of this capital A and small a LL takes place only in the second meiotic division. So it is also known as second division segregation or in short SDS. Similarly, here also segregation of capital A and small a LL takes place in meiosis 2. Now let us see calculation of map distance. Percentage of ASCII with SDS pattern for a gene is used to map the genes with respect to its centromere or the percentage of ASCII with SDS pattern is used to determine the map distance between the gene and its centromere. Percentage of SKI with SDS pattern is used because pattern of SDS is a result of crossing over. Crossover separates a gene from its centromere only when it occurs in the region between the centromere and that gene. This is the gene and this is the centromere. So this gene capital A is separated from its centromere only when crossover occur in the region between this gene and the centromere. So here crossover is taking place in this region. So this gene A is separated from its centromere. So the probability of getting the SDS pattern 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 or 2 is to 4 is to 2. It depends upon the distance between the gene which is taken into consideration and its centromere. That is if the distance between the gene of interest and centromere is such that the crossover takes place in the region between these then we will get the SDS pattern either 2 is to 2 is to 2 is to 2 or 2 is to 4 is to 2. So the map distance is calculated as half into number of SDS ASCII by total number of ASCII into 100. We have taken here half. This is because in the SDS ASCII among total spores only half of the spores are the result of crossing over or only half of the spores are of crossover types. If we see here among the 8 spores only 4, 1, 2, 3, 4 are of crossover type. Similarly here 1, 2, 3, 4 that is half of the spores are of crossover type. In this way using this formula we calculate the map distance between the gene and its centromere. So this is all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about unordered tetrad analysis. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you.